last week I made a video talking about the reasons I was excited for Freeze Pass Season 2, but I also included some of my worries. And from my comments, I feel that my thoughts were a bit misunderstood. While I do have worries about the new season, I am much more excited than worried. Though I know how I did that video probably didn't make it come across that way. Anyway, one of the comments told me to watch the new trailer as that would alleviate my worries about the new season. So I went to watch it, fully expecting to reply with my thoughts. But I had so many thoughts on that that I felt like it would be better to make a whole standalone video on that, so here we are. Also, this video will include spoilers for the trailer, and I got a comment on the previous video saying it might be too spoilery for non-manga readers, though I don't think it gave anything away, just hinted at some things. Still, if you want to go into Season 2 completely blind, this video and trailer aren't for you. Also, please no manga spoilers in the comments, as I do not want to be spoiled before I actually see the show. Alright. So the trailer starts off with Yuki saying that one day he will have something to tell Toru. If I remember right, he had a similar comment to Toru at the end of season one, so this makes me really curious what it is, and I feel like it'll play a big part of the season two story. There's also Toru being excited for summer and the introduction of new characters, which is fun, and I'm sure the manga readers are excited to see these characters, but there really isn't anything exciting for someone who doesn't know who they are, but still, gay new people, I guess. But what I really love is Tori's line, how she wants the Somas to have futures that they wish for, and she wants to break the curse. This is why Tori is so amazing. Her pure desire to save those she cares about is inspiring. Then you have Shigure inviting Akito to come to the vacation house with them, and the clip of Akito holding Tori's face, and Emoji-san seeming to be in tears. This is just like really foreboding and emotional. Had Tori warned Shigure that the things he is doing is going to make everything twisted up, and I can definitely see that. There is an emotional weight to the trailer too once Akito shows up. And then we see Akito saying that the most deluded one is the monster and then asking for Kyo, which implies that Kyo is the monster, which that would make sense with this whole true form thing. But I wonder if that's true. Could it be someone else? Maybe Toru? Yeah, probably a crazy idea, but I've been right before, I think. So the scene here that most stood out to me was the one with Kyo yelling that he doesn't have hope and thinking it would be better if he had died. Then Kazuma says that hope will bloom. And I feel like that is the key message of the trailer in the season and it will bloom because of Toru. The thing I love about this show is the impact Toru is able to have on all the characters, or as a broader perspective, the way all the characters are able to impact all the others. Like how Kyoko made Toru the person she was, and how that is influencing the Somas. So yes, we're all very excited to see season two now, even more so than I already was. And this did address my worries to some degree. They're still there, and I feel like maybe they will come to fruition, but as a whole, those worries are just me being hopefully overly pessimistic, and I will have a season two that I really enjoy. So thank you for watching, and go check out the Freeze Basket podcast I'm doing with C. A link to that channel and the playlist for the podcast will be down below, and we will be excited to bring that to you weekly again when the new season starts. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.